hello friends today uh, we are going to talk about something about india which is very unique and you will get like lot of you know world is looking at india as the developing economy or the economy to look forward so let us look at the data and this data actually show what where the india actually stand on the global platform and what is actually the real problem of you know india so if we see as per the united nation there is the list of the countries which is there are 195 countries across the globe and out of 195 countries 193 countries are there which are the member of you know united nations so this is the data which is being taken from the website of the world bank and on the one column you will find the name of the company the country and on second column you will find a gdp nominal rate i hope everybody understand gdp refers to gross domestic product and this data is in the us dollar billion dollar then the rankings are being given to the country based on the gdp normal and another on the next column you'll find the rankings are given on the based on purchasing power parity it means after adjusting the impact of inflation how the economy is performing then gdp per capita gdp per capita refers to the uh, gross domestic uh, you know product divided by the population so here we find out there is lot of variation in the population across the globe so if you talk about the number uh, you know if you talk about first second third in terms of population so we'll find out india uh, china is at number 1 on second number you'll find out uh, you know india and on third number you'll find out united states of america but the most surprising part is that approximately 144 crore people stays in china similarly approximately uh, 130 crore people stay in india it they are the countries which are on the first and second position and we'll find out the third country which is coming highest in terms of the population the population is only 33 crore so difference between two, second and third is huge in terms of the number so these countries are actually india and china are both the developing countries and they must see the population is becoming a major curse from them so we'll, then again on the next column we'll find out gdp per capita adjusted on purchasing power and this gdp is showing the gdp growth rate across the globe so let us quickly find out which are the five major countries which are performing very well in terms of the gdp and also look at this uh, what is the impact of the population which these economies are facing because of you know increase in the population size so we'll simply use one function in excel that is referred to filter so we'll go to the insert we will go to the home page and on the home page we'll find out there is one icon which is showing filter we'll just go to the filter and we just put the button filter over here once we put the button of filter we'll get the end idea about the various uh, we will get the idea about where we want to place you know our countries and how we will get the data so once we put the filter so you will find out there are lot of you know uh, rankings which are appearing so we'll just try to find out which are the top you know five countries which are indicating this so we'll just go to this we'll just insert one line in this we have inserted one line i'll just maximize this and i will just unmerge the cell just go to this and we'll find unmerge and i want to put filter over here so i'll go filter so i just want to put filter over here i'll go there and just put filter so so on this now uh, i have put one function which is known as filter so i want to filter on the basis of the ranking which how the top 5 countries are performing so i'll just uncheck all and then put select first second third fourth and fifth based on the ranking how the data is actually indicating i have pressed the five ranking and once i put the function so i'll find out in terms of gdp nominal usa is the country which is at rank 
and India is at rank 5 out of 195 country very surprising part so in terms of GDP per capita it means after the adjustment of inflation India is at the better position it means the rate of inflation is India is less in compared to other countries like China Japan and Germany but if we compare it with the GDP per capita, here the problem lies. The country like China and the country like India are facing a huge problem. There is, the ranking goes just 145. On this position, we are at 5, we are at 3, but on GDP per capita, we are at number 145. And in the similarly, similarly, if we go GDP per capita based on the purchasing power parity, then also the figures are also alarming. In terms of GDP growth rate, yes, India is the economy to look forward. That's why a lot of countries and companies want to come and do the business in India. We are one of the fastest growing economy across the globe. With this data, we come to the final conclusion that the problem of India is not in terms of growth rate. The problem of India lies in the on the check on population. If we are able to control our population, then we can definitely and surely will become a developed economy in a time to come i hope so you able to get the information of, about the data you get the information about how to use a filter function and you also get to know about the status of india across the world which is an eye opener for the you know entire world to look forward